Good morning everyone, welcome to my day and welcome to HTC Re Day. Yes, all of today's video is being recorded with the HTC Re and I'm hoping that it does a fantastic job. Now I showed you a very brief unboxing yesterday but I did make some mistakes and that was because I hadn't read through the instructions, it was an unboxing and first look and I also hadn't turned the camera on. So I just want to give you a quick update. If I show you over here, you will see the actual instruction manual. And I said that on the front it looked like a secondary microphone when in fact it is a speaker on the front. I also mentioned about another shutter button on the front as well. This is in fact a slow motion mode switch. And then on the back I showed you the little mirror and built into the mirror is an indicator LED. And obviously I couldn't see that because it's hidden away behind the mirror and it only shows when you've turned the camera on. Now if I just open this instruction manual up as well, you will also see that I've read up about the waterproof protection. Now it is waterproof out of the box, IPX7 rated, one meter for 30 minutes. If you buy an optional waterproof cap, it improves it to IPX8, which is three meters for 120 minutes. So very, very good indeed. Now I just wanna give you a quick look at the app and don't forget this video is being recorded with the HTC Re and the audio. Now you can see, as I move my hand in and out and move the camera around, you can actually see updating. It's a little bit jerky from time to time, but very, very good. You can rotate it round into landscape mode so you get a bigger view of what you're recording. You can switch between photo mode and also timer mode. I'm not sure if I can access the other settings, but oh, I can whilst it's recording. And it's continuing recording, as you can see here. And we've got camera settings, advanced settings. I can't go into any of these while it's actually recording but you can access all of these settings including formatting the micro SD card something else I didn't know yesterday because I hadn't removed the uh, cap properly and had a proper look is you do get a four gigabyte memory card inside the box or sorry inside the actual camera it was pre-installed I've swapped that out oh, I can't come out of here now I've swapped that out for a 32 gigabyte card just to give me some more capacity so now I'm recording again I had to press stop to come back into this menu and I can, as I said before, you can switch between photo mode or timer mode. And I can turn this around into a landscape orientation so you get a very sort of good view of what the app's looking like. This is weird, looking at this, look, ooh. But it looks really good on the screen, very impressed so far. So I'm actually gonna install this in the car later on. I'm gonna use probably one of my GoPro mounts with a little tripod connection, just to temporarily mount it in the car. But for now, I'm going to get on with a little bit of video editing and catch up with some of my emails. So I'm just off out to get some petrol. This will be a really good test for the HTC Re because you get a lot of different changes in lighting conditions. There's a lot of traffic today since uh, I've waited at that last roundabout for, well, what seemed like ages. It was probably only a couple of minutes, but it certainly seemed like a long time beautifully sunny day if you compare this to yesterday it's around about 3 p.m. at the moment and yesterday it was already getting dark by now so we've got some really nice Sun which is great puts you in a much better mood so I'm not sure how this is gonna work through the windscreen but we're just pulling up to get some petrol I'm on pump number four. And this is probably gonna cost me about 70 or 80 quid. Well, I was right, almost 60 pound. Not quite as bad as 60. 52, I think it was. So 52 pound for a full tank, because it was pretty empty. So fuel prices have come down a little bit. Anyway, before I headed out, I finally got the email about the camera that I was uh, sort of waiting for confirmation on the delivery time. Because it's being delivered by DPD, so you actually get a delivery slot. And it's due between 1pm and 3pm tomorrow. So really looking forward to that. And this is so much traffic again. Quite a busy area though. 
see if I can squeeze out there. There we go. I'm not sure as we drive up here if you'll be able to see the queue of traffic going the other way. That's quite a lengthy queue. I'm not quite sure why there's so much traffic. It's all the way around the roundabout as well. But I'm off to collect some parcels. So we'll pick those up and then I'll be back to the studio because I have one client video to record for this afternoon. That sun is so bright. That's better. I'm really keen actually because um, either this evening or first thing in the morning I'll be editing the video from the HTC Re and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs and that is such a bright sun makes it very hard to see while you're driving the only thing I couldn't get working on this camera when I set it up before I set out in the car was I couldn't get it to connect via Wi-Fi so I got no preview on my phone as to whether I'd lined it up correctly which is a little bit of a shame not sure why that wouldn't connect wouldn't even show in like the Wi-Fi list I think the uh, accompanying app and software do need some work it's not the best that I have experienced now there is a magpie in the road and you salute a single magpie apparently my daughter got me doing that I've got no idea why I do it So as always we'll have a little look at the canvases on the wall but worth noting that in comparison to my previous camera tests this is quite late on in the evening so not great lighting so I'm expecting to see a little bit more noise maybe in this particular part of the video. So that's it for my day with the HTC Re. I can't comment on how good or bad the video and audio quality is because I haven't reviewed any of it back. So I'm going to let you decide in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching today's video. Please do leave me some comments and hit that like button. I'll see you all again tomorrow.